Welcome back to another episode on b Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we explore the demo preview of a game that I can't wait to play since it was announced for the PlayStation 5 with Forspoken. Once I saw the trailer during the Game Awards and saw that there was a demo release for the PS5, I downloaded it immediately. So excited to see what this game is all about. I couldn't wait to see how they would implement the combat system here. And that, my friends, is what this demo is really all about. The combat. Forspoken is developed by Luminous Productions and will be released by Square Enix in 2023 for the PlayStation 5 and Windows PC. The game starts with a quick summary of why your character, Frey Holland, played by Ella Balinska, is transported from New York to a fantasy world of Athea. All she wants to do is go home as she uses her magical powers to survive and help others while she does this. At the start of the demo, you get a nice tutorial that explains how to use your magic and how to use basic combat. That is where the game gets a bit complicated. Playing games like God of War, I expected similar controls that attack that also switch through a variety of different attack or magic in this case. I don't have too much of an issue of how the game flows as I wish for a remap of sorts with the gamepad. The demo does not allow this, so you have to train yourself to get used to it. We got this! Oh. Try this for size. Once you do do that, after a bit, you start to really have fun as you flow with ease fighting enemies with melee attacks to mastering larger forms of magic spells that really look fantastic on screen. You move so quickly in this game that you feel like jumping all over the place and moving quite frantically in your attacks, which makes the pacing of the battles that much more fun to play. The speed of the game feels absolutely great as you move around with magical abilities to make Frey move at higher speeds. I like how they did this with a boost in speed is very apparent and really fun to use when moving around the environments. You can virtually scale anything no matter how big it is. There was a small part in crafting to enhance your stats or learning more magic to enhance your support or attack powers. A small glimpse to how to beef up your character was actually very nice. I chose defense that ultimately kept me alive with no real danger and allowed me to practice a lot more with the combat system which was sorely needed. The visuals here are of your standard affair and does look like a cross-gen game but it is only on the PS5 and PC. Of course the demo here is just about to get the hang of the combat system and the developers do acknowledge that the actual game will look much different. If the trailers are any indication, this game does look visually enticing. The environments here look decent, but your character, Frey, is animated very nicely with her animations in combat making big visual effects that makes the wow factor that much more, especially with the particle effects that they use in battles. The weak ones hunt and packs, huh? There are three modes that I tested since I do not have a 120Hz monitor. The demo has quality, which is a 30 cap frame rate at a 4K resolution, ray tracing that is also 30 frames capped with a ray tracing on, and my preferred setting, performance mode, which is a reduced resolution with 60 frames targeted. To be honest, the quality mode was a bit more crisp, but it's hard to tell with the movement of the game being so fast. With the movements here so frantic and camera movement was so much a factor especially in battles, I felt that the smoothness of the performance mode made the game less jarring in comparison. Although with a lower resolution, 
I really couldn't tell a big difference in comparing the three versions and was hard pressed to notice a big difference except in the quality of the movement which was so fast that the game just plays better in my book in performance mode. The demo gives you small tasks to complete as you explore a pretty big part of the world but once you complete the task and beat the larger monster you're pretty much done. Overall, I do believe that the demo succeeds in what it was trying to accomplish and that's giving the player a chance to get used to its unique combat with parkour abilities as you can virtually transverse almost anywhere with time jumps. I would have loved a button remap and hope that this there is one once the game is released officially in January of 2023. I really do like what the demo offered and looking forward to the game once it's released as this game was on my list to get from quite some time. Just hoping that the remap controls option is there. That's it for this preview look at Forspoken. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn.